Hello and welcome back. Uh, so in our last video we were able to connect to the open weather map uh, using our services and uh, we consult log this data. Now this data has all we need to uh, display it here in our browser. Uh, in order to do that we're going to again use the my weather property it has to be this my weather this is going to be equal to uh, new weather just like we did uh, when we created this is how we created uh, the new current weather over here Actually, new current weather. And remember that when we define our class, it has one, two, three, four, five, six properties inside of it. So the, that's as many properties that we're going to have here. So we're going to have one. I'm going to start doing it in a new line so you can read it better. Two. Three, four, five. So we have six. six. Cool. Okay. So uh, now we need to start uh, filling in with uh, data, and to do that we're going to navigate through this uh, huge object and we have data we need the city name so here we're going to put it data dot name the next one is the temperature uh, to find the temperature it's going to be if I'm not mistaken in main and then we have to navigate to object to temp so go main temp. Uh, then we're gonna find an icon, and this is going to be here. Uh, this is an array, and we need this icon. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to the weather. This is an array, and in position zero, we're going to navigate to icon. Next one is going to be uh, the description of the weather. You know, as we have it here, description. We need to go again into the array. That is going to be weather position zero and as you can see inside of our array we have an object and then we're going to navigate to description now we can go for uh, the max temperature and, and main temperature so we have it here and this object, we're going to go to main, temp max. Here, we're going to go to uh, temp no, main, temp min. So that's all we need because my weather is already referenced in my HTML. Let's just wait a second. And there we go. Oh, there's a problem with my, there's a problem with my, uh, with my icon. Oh, I know why. So, uh, let's go to our HTML. No, not this one. 
this one. And the problem I have here is I have this just as calling weather icon. What I need to do is uh, I've been grabbing uh, my icons from a previous uh, weather application I built with jQuery a couple years back. And it's not working anymore. Uh, so what I need to do is I'm going to copy the image address. You can copy mine or you can uh, come, uh, you have to kind of create a one by yourself or you can use the one from Open Weather Map, which I don't like. That's why I created my own. Uh, this one's, uh, especially the moon, I just don't like it. Anyway, so I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna copy my uh, image address. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna paste this uh, URL. And as you can see, I have a 01D. When uh, open weather map icons. And let me show you how the icons look like and why they have these codes. See, so as you can see, uh, they have they created this icons uh, and these names. So I created my own set of icons with this, uh, with the same uh, naming convention. So I just have to replace this part in my URL with uh, my weather icon. And what's going to do is uh, going to come to my it's going to come to my uh, it's going to uh, make the call it's going to go to the weather array and it's going to replace uh, 01D what I had before for 03D and that's going to match to something that is cloudy, scattered clouds. So let's save this. And here it is. Uh, I have my uh, location, I'm in Weedon Acres, uh, this is my temperature, and I have scattered clouds, uh, max temperature is going to be uh, 38.6 and minimum 38.6. Uh, I don't know why it's giving me the same, <laughs> the same values, uh, I don't have control over that, that's uh, the Open Weather Map uh, API, and I'm pretty sure it's wrong. So if you want to you can add as many things as uh, you'd like. So why don't you try adding uh, something uh, like the uh, pressure, humidity. Uh, I know there's also um, some uh, other values like, oh yeah, sun, sunrise and sunset. That would be an interesting thing to call because uh, look at this number. This is huge. So, uh, you need you would have to find a way to uh, translate this number to a to a, uh, to a time that makes sense to you, like uh, six a.m. or seven a seven uh, or sunset to be like uh, eight p.m. if it's uh, if it's the summer. Uh, but I want you to notice one thing. Right now this works because I have dummy data displaying. Uh, displaying before uh, my promises result. But what happens if I don't? So if I go to my uh, to my component and I get rid of the service which calls to my dummy data I'm gonna save it and 
let's call this. Hmm. Nothing's displaying. Let's open our console. And as you can see, I can't, uh, this cannot read city name of undefined. And what is undefined? Right now, my, uh, my weather, my weather is undefined because uh, this is taking too long, navigator, geolocation, get current position. It's taking too long to get my, uh, uh, my uh, coordinates and the page is being rendered before the data is there. So what we need to do is create a promise. And that's something I'm gonna show you in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. And uh, if you like what you've seen so far, please subscribe. And, well, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.